Man, appreciate everybody that always tunes in and checks in with your girl. We here every Friday and Sunday and sometimes in between. But listen, I got some dope artists on the check-in today. I have to tell y'all every single time I got the dopest of the dopest. Shout out, got a crucial. What's happening, man? What it do, what it do. Hey, man. We here. We here. It's like a hot box in here today. Hey. <laughs> it's all good, though. You know what I'm saying? Sure. It, we blessed and highly favored. Appreciate you taking <laughs> some time with us today. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Tell everybody who you are, where you checking in from. Uh, this your boy, God of Crucial, man. Birmingham, Alabama, in the building, man. Y'all already know what time it is. ABB Alabama by B. Let's get it. Let's go. Word, we here. Word. Let me tell you. I ain't got to tell you. Let me tell everybody listening. There's so much talent out in Birmingham. Yeah. Like that city has got so much talent out there. You, you you reside out there now or you live somewhere else? Uh, I'm in Kentucky right now. You stay in Kentucky. How, how long has it been since you uh, lived in Birmingham? Uh, about two years. Okay, so fairly recently. Yeah. What, what took you, if you don't mind me asking, what took you from Birmingham to Kentucky? Um, well, my wife. Okay. And then, That's a great reason. Uh, <laughs> you got a beauty. Yeah, Thank you. I feel like I need to, you know, open up more marketing places in no states, you know, with my music and, and yeah. really just get out of my comfort zone for Thanks. a little minute mm -hmm. and, and try to build a thousand true fans outside my city. Yeah. That's what you got to do, man. You got to focus on your true fans. Because I feel like you really don't have to be, you have to, you don't have to make it just in your city. Mm -mm. You can travel the world and build your fans on your own, you know, with your merch and, you right. know, postcards, crew out codes, you know, all types of ways to, you know, to build your fan base. Because at the end of the, the other day, this, that wouldn't matter. Your fans, no, for real. You know? and, and guess what? Majority of the time, your city ain't going to get behind you until they... That's what it is. Um, but uh, Birmingham is a great city. I work with a few artists from out there. Shout out to my homie Hard Body Shaw. That's my dog. Um, you know, shout out to a lot of the artists out there doing their thing. What's the music scene like where you're at now versus Birmingham? Is it better, worse, about the same? Oh, the fans here. The fans are Fans here. Okay. And therefore, to let me know, like, your music has to be marketed and promoted. That's why it ain't got to. It don't be the, the music trash and that. It's just your marketing. Mm. And your promotion. Facts. You know? Absolutely. You have to um, invest in your career. Facts. Hey, boo. Whatever it I is. You a snack. Whether it be music or, you know, whatever your business is, you know what I'm saying? You have to invest in it. Period. Facts. Um, you know, because if you don't believe in yourself and invest in yourself, you can't expect no one else to do it, you know? Right. And that's good that you took that risk. Because every time you do anything, especially if you move outside your city to somewhere else, that's a risk. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I'm glad that it's working for you. Oh, um, that's that's big. How's the what city you in right now in Kentucky? Oh, uh, Murray. By what? college. I'm oh. By, by, by Paducah. Okay. By What's Paducah. the I mean out there, like how are they receiving your music? I know you said the fans and stuff are better, but like the DJs and stuff, how are they receiving your music? Oh, uh, they see they receiving it real good, you know, building their relationship, you know, with them and you know, it's getting out there like right now I'm working with uh DJ Creative. Okay. Uh out there uh DJ T Baby. Them the main two DJs that I'm working with right now. Trying to get you know, my single pushed out there in those, in those areas. They do a lot of concerts for uh, some famous people in um, February. Hmm. So I'm always out there trying to open up paying the look, open yes. up just, you know, get the fans while they already there. That's what you got to do, right. man. You got to um, get out there and network because one thing about opportunities, it's very rare that they come to you. You got to go out and find them and create them. Right, right. Mm -hmm. yeah, you got to create your own opportunity. That's what I was doing before I moved. I would create my own opportunities, uh, buying tickets and, you know, trying to throw my own concert because I Word. got tired of waiting on promotion. To <laughs> so that will come with creating your own opportunity, throwing my own showcase, open mic for the independent artists. That's what you got to do. You know, and stuff like that. Just really put my hand outside, just drop the music. Yeah, because you know? if the, nobody else is going to present those opportunities, create them on your own. All right. Uh, how long have you been taking your music seriously? Uh, how long? I've, I've been taking it serious like since 2014 when I started uploading it on YouTube and learning how to put my music out there on my own because I had been watching Soldier Boy. Yeah. Like he sold like 15 million ringtones mm. when you when first yeah. got on the YouTube. And I just started learning from Big Souls, you know, how he was really working and got on my team. And, you know, everybody was on the same page and trying to make something happen. And, and it just gave me a, a opportunity to really put my music out there because I ain't know where to put my music. You're going to still be in the studio. Yeah. I would never learn about getting on YouTube or Googling, you know, the information that I need to know. I right. would have been stuck. So it's, Absolutely. it's good to be. Knowledge is powerful. 
It is, and, and this is a business just like any other business out there, so you got to learn it. Yes, or especially you know, if you, you want to make millions of dollars off of you better. <laughs> yes, exactly. Without taking the time to learn any business, you'll never make money doing it. You might make petty money here and there, but nobody wants to just be out there selling $5 CDs. You know right. what I'm saying? Right. Like, we're trying to get big show money. we trying to get you know millions of streams and get that popping. Right. Nobody's buying albums no more. You got to depend on streams, and it takes literally thousands and thousands and thousands yes. and thousands of streams to see a kind of, of a check now. Yeah, to see a good check. Right. <laughs> yep. Exactly. Um, what originally started you doing music? Um, you know, going through hard life, going through real hard lifetimes, and you know, losing real people, losing my family members, and mm. you know, uh, my sister end up going to jail. Just all types of stuff. The real job just felt like I got a story. I need to find a way to tell it. Yeah. It's seven billion people in the world, so right. somebody yeah. can relate. To well, absolutely, the just got to get it out there. Absolutely, you know? and that's that's so important. I, I talk about that with every artist that I interview or just have a conversation with. One of the most important things you have to put out through your music is it has to. It, you want it to be true to you, but you also got to make stuff that's relatable. Because think about anything that's relatable content. That's what draws people in. Right. You know what I'm saying? Um. Even if you're doing funny stuff, little skits or whatever, mm -hmm. people are gonna like laugh more because they're like, "Man, I I've been through that." Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I did that before. Right. So when it's like relatable stuff, that's what's gonna draw people in, and that's what's gonna keep them coming back. Right. Um. So for people who haven't had the opportunity to actually check out your music, um, without categorizing yourself or boxing yourself in, when you got fans or potential fans that listen to your music, what do you want them to hear through your music? Um. Pain, if they're going through pain, you know, happiness, and if they're going through happiness, and, you know, just be true to yourself. Right. Just be true to yourself and keep God first and, you know, uh, anything possible. It ain't where you're from, it's That's where right. you're going. Absolutely. What would you say, since you've been taking this music seriously, has, like, been one of the biggest lessons that you've learned? Because there's a lot of shysty people out there, and you might run into some bad situations. Um, what would you say is the biggest lesson that you've learned that maybe... Our listeners may be tuned in that you could, you know, prevent them from dealing with. Uh, scams, you know, do, do more research and, you know, right. uh, Google these folks that they send a cash app, Google the cash app. <laughs> the name going to pop up with it. Word. It, it come with an email. That's right. So, you know, do much research before you get this, you're spending that money. That's why I don't even use PayPal no more because... It's so easy to scam people on PayPal. Right. And what people would do is they would pay you for a service, and because I provide digital services, they would go back after I got done whatever my services are, and then they would tell PayPal that they never received it. And I don't really have much way to prove it because I provide digital services. So they would dispute and get their money back. Mm. Wow. Then I have to call PayPal and go back and forth with them, and it's a hassle. So I said, you know what? F PayPal. I ain't going to deal with them no more because they don't really protect you like that. And it's just sad that there are people out there that, that do that shysty shit. Yeah. We work hard.